Oh, Joe here, Southern Coast Cooking. Today I'm coming at you. I'm gonna do a uh, low carb uh, grilled shrimp pasta or saute shrimp pasta. And we're gonna use zucchini noodles, okay? Anyway, I've got some shrimp down here, all right? We just got them kind of drying off and everything. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on for my avocado oils, what I've been using this stuff right here for the low carb cooking. And it's good for a higher heat. So pull that on there. And then we uh, mix that around. We don't need the oven on for this. We just gonna do this on top of the thing. And then uh, we'll put some Old Bay seasoning. Let's see if I can open this, y'all. Put the Old Bay. And some blackening season from Heaven Made Products. Put a link to all this. But you know, we're just gonna Get these shrimp kind of tossed in these seasonings. And then we're gonna saute the shrimp here for shortly. But you know, these shrimp are peeled with just tail on, is what I got them. Y'all, right, we're back over here. I'm at the stove now. I'm sure what we got going on. I got my 12 inch all clad uh, copper core heating up down here. Get y'all some light on the subject, everything going here. I got some of this avocado oil now the shrimp's got this avocado oil on them already so we're not too worried about that putting any oil on here we'll go ahead and just dump the shrimp on there just like that and uh spread them out a little bit oh man yeah we're just gonna let them saute right here okay in fact y'all i'll take it down i'm gonna take some of these out there's too many shrimp in this pan you don't want to overcrowd your pan all right Especially when you're sauteing shrimp or something like that, because uh, they just want to get the good saute on them. So we're gonna do that. Take some of these guys out. And meanwhile, we'll let the others cook right here. And put on medium high heat, right? Because I want to get that almost that almost like you're blackening them, okay? I just want to get that good sear on them, all right? So they're peeled, just got the tails left on them, that's just for looks. You know how that goes. Take the ones off that I couldn't get to in this batch. Alright. So we have them down, pat just like that. Alright. There's no overcrowding. That's pretty good for this batch. And uh, we'll let these go here for a minute. Go ahead and start flipping the shrimp here. Yep. Those look good. Oh yeah, look at that. How pretty they are looking. And that's what you just want to kind of just grill these up right here on the pan. Kind of dry. So that way you don't have to, you want to get a good sear, you know what I mean? You don't want to overcrowd them. I definitely had a lot too many shrimp, way too many shrimp in there when I first started. Okay. You can flip them like that. Now as I get them flipped. I like to add just a little bit of good lemon here. Squeeze a little lemon juice in the pan. That'll help somewhat. And maybe a pat of butter. Okay. Add two of butter. It never hurts. Just let that just hang out there for just a minute more. Put those out. Uh, kind of cook them out of the side. Looks so good right there. Stick one over here. Put the butter down that in the pan. Oh yeah, it won't take for the minute to cook shrimp anyway. So that's pretty much done now for the shrimp. It's gonna get nice and pink. Go ahead and pour them in a little holding plate over here. Oh, that's good right there. Alright. Pull these off and get on the next batch. I got my second batch of shrimp pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and take them off, set them over here to the side, and then we'll get on the zucchini. Shrimp out, put a couple pats of butter down. Alright, let me get my little. Here's what I like to use for this little wooden thing. We're gonna, some of that just that good seasoning that was in there with the shrimp. We're on about a medium heat now. 
can go ahead and leave that in there. That's good. A little bit more butter. Come on. A bit more like that. They're melting down in there. I'm going to get some garlic now. Get some garlic. A little bit of minced garlic. Get some of that in there. Just like that. Just kind of starting the sauce here for the noodles. Alright. What, what we consider noodles at least. Okay. Now I'm coming in with the uh, zucchini. I've uh, spiraled this earlier. I did a video on my little spiraler and I let it sit for about 30 45 minutes uh, to drain. Kind of squeeze it out with a paper towel because uh, these zucchini noodles have a lot of water in them. Alright. Let me go right there. Man, this thing is. Long. That's kind of. Apparently they shrink down some, so I'm gonna go ahead with a good deal of them. Put that in there. And uh, let's just kind of stir them around and saute them here. Get that good butter and all garlic right in them. Just like that. That's what you need. Alright. So this is one thing, you could serve this once it's done, like kind of family style, you know, if you want to. But uh, I'm going to go ahead, I've got just a little bit more noodles left. I'm going to put that in there just in case. I hate to throw the things away, you know, waste your zucchini, but I'm going to let this simmer on here just a little bit. I'm going to keep stirring it until it cooks down some, all right? While that's going, we're going to make a little sauce for this pasta here. Let me show you. Let me throw it in. You can make your own. A lot of the instructions for this show to make your own guacamole, basically. I just got some fresh made. Uh, you can go by your local Mexican restaurant or something like that. Uh, guacamole. Maybe a springe of a little bit of lemon. Get the seeds out of it. All right. A little lemon juice here. Now, more seeds. All right, little lemon juice. Then I've got some uh, pesto, and you can make your own pesto. This is a good pesto that I just use. All right, a little bit of garlic, and just stir that together. And that's basically this. Here's what we're going to toss into that zucchini once it's done, y'all. Pesto, guacamole, garlic, good stuff. That's going to be real good, y'all. All right, y'all. So the uh, zucchini has been uh, sauteing here for about 10 minutes or so. It's released a lot of water. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in a um, colander. Just kind of strain it off. And we'll kind of plate this up. Or I'll show you what we'll do. we kind of do this serving by serving, okay? Let me go ahead and strain this off in the colander. All right, here we go. So we got the pan cleaned out again. A little bit of butter melted in there. Might put just a tad bit more. Some butter. You can put a little olive oil in there at this point. Whatever you want. Now I'm gonna take uh, some of the zucchini. All right, gonna put it off in the strainer and put some of that in there. Something like that, okay? Serving bowl, so to speak. Then we'll just kind of saute that around. This is when we're going to get it, you know, get a lot of the water out of there, just like it was. And you want to turn the heat up and get this just like this. And so just stirring it around. Maybe flipping a little bit. We'll make dang sure we get the water cooked out of it this time. They kind of want to, almost like I'm browning it up a little bit. Not really. Let's move it around a little bit. Alright. We just shouldn't take it a couple of minutes. Let's have this sizzling going on here. And that's what I'm talking about. Just get it good. It says a lot. Now, come in with some shrimp. Okay. 
get the noodles sharp and then we'll get sauce on them. Pain the sauce. Alright, we're just gonna toss the shrimp in that stuff here. And just heat everything thoroughly. Right, so this will just take about another minute. Let's toss them around like this. Alright, then we'll come over here to uh it tastes like a bowl, a big bowl. I'll come over here with me real quick. I'm pouring a hot shrimp down here in the bowl with the noodles. Alright. Just like that. I'm going to set this pan aside. Then I'm going to take a little bit of sauce that we talked about. About a tablespoon or so of that. Something like that. Two tablespoons maybe. And we're going to just kind of toss it around with these shrimp. Get everything coated. Now you could eat it out of this bowl if you want to. It wouldn't look too pretty. But I'll serve it up on a plate now. It's got the sauce, the shrimp, everything else just like it needs to be. And then all mixed up. Y'all, let's give this a try. I'll show it to you. It's an absolutely gorgeous dish. Is that not pretty? Look at that. Shrimp with zucchini. Noodles, pasta. Oh man. Get some of the noodles on here. Go ahead and try it out. Hmm. That's so fresh. That's wonderful. Wonderful zucchini. Try shrimp. Mmm. That's wonderful. That'll be a go-to for me, for sure. Thank y'all so much for watching. You know, look in the description box for products I use in this video. Thank y'all so much. Please like my videos, sub my channel. God bless y'all, and y'all have a good one.